bragging. Oprah ineligible for president. Here's what she did. Last night was the Golden Globe Awards where celebrities gathered on stage to pat each other back and tell each other how great they are. Of course, there was your typical President Trump bashing by wealthy liberal elitists who think they know better than the average American with the same tired jokes. However, the celebrity brouhaha took an absurd turn when they paraded Oprah Winfrey out on stage to lecture all of white America about sexual abuse and harassment running rampant in the country. Um, really? Well, it appears that Oprah has forgotten that the majority of sexual deviants are hiding in those glass houses in the Hollywood Hills. Not only did Oprah forget about all those pesky sickos, but also the allegations made against her, and since it appears she is flirting with a 2020 presidential run, we should remind how terrible those charges really were. For decades, Oprah has crafted a persona of a caring and nurturing woman who supports women making it big in the media world, but that is not who she truly is. As it turns out, Oprah has some nasty skeletons in her closet that she has kept hidden to keep up her squeaky clean image to make a presidential bid in 2020. However, someone just opened that closed closet door, and the truth has come out about her sex scandal that will destroy any chance of her running for president for good. Oprah Winfrey has touted herself as a champion for women and minority causes aligning herself with liberal elitists like Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton. Oprah has always been a favorite of the left since she parrots the talking points they want her to say and lulls the modern housewife into voting for progressive agendas under the guise of empowerment. However, these liberal women may change their opinion of Oprah after it was discovered that she helped Harvey Weinstein in procuring potential victims for him to abuse. In a stunning report released last month, British actress Katie and Noble charged the talk show queen of failing to warn her about Weinstein's sexual deviancy and even prodded Noble to speak with him to advance her career. Noble claims that Winfrey also went as far as to say that she could trust Weinstein and even praise the serial rapist alongside former supermodel Naomi Campbell knowing full well that he would sexually assault her. Here is more from page 6. An aspiring actress says Harvey Weinstein used Oprah Winfrey and Naomi Campbell to dupe her into thinking he would help her with her career, only to use her for sex. British actress Katie Ann Noble said Tuesday she was head over heels impressed when she first met Weinstein at an event in London because he was hanging out with model Campbell and had megastar Oprah swinging off his arm. I thought, obviously, this man has something amazing in store for me. She said during a teary-eyed press conference in Manhattan to discuss the sex trafficking lawsuit she filed a day earlier against Weinstein in Manhattan Federal Court. Instead, Weinstein used promises of career advancement to lure the actress to his hotel room in Cannes, France, where he forced himself on her, she said. I felt completely played, she said. Noble is the latest in a long line of actresses and models who claim Weinstein either forced himself on them or coerced them into sex with promises of career advancement. Mr. Weinstein denies allegations of non-consensual sex, his spokeswoman said. Mr. Weinstein has further confirmed that there were never any acts of retaliation against any women for refusing his advances. After meeting Weinstein in London, Noble said she thought nothing of bringing her show reel to his hotel room when she saw him again in Cannes in February 2014. Once inside the hotel room, however, he didn't seem that interested in my show reel, Noble said. Instead, he began touching her while discussing hooking her up with a modeling agency in London. He said, I need to know you really like me, Nobel said. I have all the information we need. I just need to know you really like me. The incident ended in the bathroom, where he forced Noble to perform sex acts in front of the bathroom mirror, she said. Afterward, Weinstein failed to help her with her career as promised, she said. She blames him for destroying her acting dreams and said she has since reported her case to the night. Noble's lawsuit claims that Weinstein's practice of luring aspiring actresses to his casting couch with promises of career advancement makes him no better than a seedy sex trafficker. Her lawyer, Jeff Herman, said he is hoping for millions of dollars in damages. The jury will decide what they think her damages call for, Herman said at the same press conference. But it will be significant, 
he said. It will go into the millions of dollars. These allegations against Oprah Winfrey are quite severe, and they need to be heard. If the left is genuinely concerned about those that were sexually assaulted, then they need to call out Winfrey for her part in it and not allow her to profit off the misery of others anymore, anymore.